I was curious. So when it comes to like, because you're all about mindset, I hear you talk about mindset all the time. Um, and then when you were first starting Quest, that you guys didn't have a lot of resources, and just because of where the facilities were located, that you ended up hiring like ex cons, um, which I actually think is really cool. So I'm actually trying to figure out. Um, I know you're not a fan of 501c3s. I'm trying to figure out how to make a business out of an idea, but right now I'm still, it's going in the nonprofit category, but I do want to um, do some work with people that are constantly written off. Um, I was curious if you had seen like a commonality in the success stories, like people that maybe you employed that you saw that just completely did a 180. And if there was a commonality amongst that that group of people because so many people as soon as they check that box in an application they're like you can't even get an, an interview right like they there is no rehabilitation um but there has to be i believe people change and i people believe people grow and obviously that's not for everybody but there's got to be some like diamonds in the rough so i was curious with your experience with that yeah it, it was really extraordinary so here was the realization that i walked away with intelligence is distributed evenly mindset frame of reference is not now if you've got all the high-end hardware in the world but you run dumb software then you get dumb outputs and so what you have are the people you're talking about that are forgotten whether they grew up in the inner city or they were abused or whatever they're telling themselves a story about themselves and the way the world works that is not useful it is not mm -hmm. helpful and because it's not helpful, they lack what I call the only belief that matters. The only belief that matters, the reason that I'm willing to bet on a human is that if you put, and this, this is just true of the average human, you don't need to be special for this. The human animal chose an evolutionary path of basically only pre-wiring about 50% of the things that we're born with as humans. And the other 50% is like, hey, what's the environment? What are you born into? What do you need to get good at? Mm -hmm. And so it just soaks up culture, soaks up the environment around it. And to make that strategy work, you have to get better. Like the brain actually has to adjust, rewire, and improve based on practice. So if you put time and attention into something, walking, talking, like kids get really good at it. And we think, oh yeah, that's natural for a kid, but then that goes away. It definitely diminishes. And it is harder when you're older, there's no question. But you can still, I think it's like 100x, but even if it's only 10x, you can improve your skill set, And your life is unrecognizable if you 10x your skills. So the only belief that matters is, if I put time and attention into getting better, I will actually get better. And then the second part of that is skills have utility. So you get better at something because it actually lets you do something. Mm -hmm. So architecture is probably my favorite example. So you get good at architecture and then you can actually build a bridge that spans two land masses, crosses water, allows people to walk over, drive over, whatever. Like you, you've literally terraformed that part of the, the planet. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. So now like whatever your skill set is, you want to get good at math, being a teacher, physics, science, making protein bars, whatever. <laughs> like if you put time and attention into it, you'll actually get better and getting better at that thing lets you do something. And then one of my favorite quotes from Kobe Bryant, booze don't block dunks. So people were paid millions of dollars to try to stop that man from scoring baskets. He once scored 81 points, I think, in a single game, 81. <laughs> in a single game, even though the other team was paid millions of dollars to stop him, they couldn't because he'd gotten so good at something. Mm -hmm. So there's, I love quotes. There's another quote. This one's good. This one's really going to land with people. If you've ever doubted yourself, remember this, you can't make a racehorse out of a pig, but you can make a really fast pig. I love that. So quote. my life, oh my God, it's so good. My life is the answer to what does a really fast pig look like? Mm -hmm. So maybe I'm not a racehorse, but damn it. I'm a fast pig. And mm -hmm. I put a lot of time into making sure that I'm one of the fastest pigs around. And <laughs> my life is just unrecognizable. When I think about, you know, being in my mid twenties, scrounging in my couch cushions to find enough change to put gas in my car mm -hmm. because I was broke, paying some bills one month, some bills the next month, being on unemployment. I mean, it was gnarly mm -hmm. to where I'm at now, knowing it's the same genetic material, but just what happens when for 20 years, you every day make a demand that you get a little bit better at something that matters. Mm -hmm. And then that just stacks. 
I couldn't agree more. I have a very similar situation. I was like the brokest human alive at one point while I was in college. Same thing, like no money for to even put gas in my car. I was crashing on a friend's couch. I was out of dog food. I was like, how am I gonna feed? How am I gonna feed this dog? Like low as I've probably ever been. Um, and then I just like started making adjustments. I'm like, where am I going to invest my time? Who am I going to surround myself with? Cause that's huge. I feel like people don't spend enough or time or like give enough weight to that, right? Like they think that they can have like really shitty friends and that they are going to be successful. And that's just not how it works. Like you are the accumulation of where you, sp- what is it? Five people. You're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, maybe you should take inventory of that if like you're the, if your life isn't where you want it to be. Um, and so many people think like you can just say that if you, um, like, you know, think positive and blah, 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 that you'll get it. Or like, you know, the quick Gary V clips that you see, um, they want that answer, but it's like, you have to grind. Like you don't realize how much time goes into someone's success story. Right. And it's like mastery is seven years. You did, you were working with, um, the guys, your co-founders for like 15, was it like 15 years? 14 years, yeah. Yeah, so it's like you have to put in the work and put in the time and then you get to see the progress. 